morning happy friday everybody welcome to follow up friday don't mind me i'm freezing i'm currently in my attic right now so today is follow up friday and we're going to talk to you a little bit back to the real estate world which we've been out of for a little while on follow up fridays a couple things storage your attic and are you ready for winter so they're going to be just short versions of kind of something extended that you should look into storage I have so many clients when they're looking for a house talking about storage and the great storage that are in basements, but you don't want to neglect or forget about your attic storage. So I have platforms built up in my attic and that's not something that is uncommon. You have a whole space above your home that has a roof above it that you're not utilizing. So the first thing I would do, which is coming along with getting ready for winter, is do you have proper insulation in your attic? I by no means am a professional in that business. However, there are so many resources and contractors that can talk to you to making sure that your attic is insulated. Why is that important? Not only if you're using it for storage and putting things up here, winter clothes, Christmas, not that I know anything about Christmas, <laughs> but documents that you don't use all the time, stuff in your attic that it's in the way if it's downstairs, but you want to keep it preserved upstairs. You want to make sure it's insulated so that stuff doesn't get ruined. You don't get bugs. You don't get mice. You don't... So you actually need to frequent your attic a lot more than just that Christmas time. And if it's insulated, you're not worried about moisture, things getting damaged with heat. Don't put candles in your attic. There's a lot of people that finish the attic and use it as a third room, a third floor space. Uh, here in Pittsburgh, we have really cold winters and we get really hot summers. So what do you need to do in your attic? Talk to a contractor or professional to make sure it's insulated properly. Right now, it's not that cold outside. It's probably colder in my attic. So our attic is insulated with that real puffy cotton looking stuff that you put in like a hamster cage. I don't like it at all. It's itchy and gross. <laughs> but we have space that doesn't have that in it that we have our platforms built. But why is it important to have insulation in your attic if you're not using it for storage? Well, you lose a large percentage of your heat through your attic. Surprising or not, I had someone tell me that they have the covers that go around. If you have a pull down attic or an attic access, you should actually insulate and put a cover around those stairs. They have zip ones, they have Velcro ones. It, you'd be shocked at the amount of heat it keeps from going downstairs or through a closet. It's just another way to protect your utilities and keep them a little more resourceful than just all this extra air coming up into your attic. If you're using your attic, then make sure it is insulated. It'll help with all kinds of utility costs, your heat and your air cost. So I mentioned storage. Why is that important in your attic? Because again, it's usually empty space that no one's using. So why not put down boards, have a contractor, everyone looks on YouTube, right? And do it right. You wanna make sure that your ceiling is able to hold certain amounts of weight. So you don't wanna just start throwing things up there. I would have a professional come in and at least tell you what to expect by putting some type of platforms up. That way you can actually use the space that you have. The attic is another great space for Mm, our favorite thing is critters. So home inspections, there's a big part that goes into the attic. Uh, it's very important, the home inspectors that a lot of my buyers use, make sure they always say to the sellers, make sure I have access to your attic. Why? Leaks, you wanna make sure that your roof is taken care of. Winter is coming, you don't want leaks freezing, expanding boards, and then it's possibly, some people have furnaces, we have a furnace up here in our attic with a lot of duct work. We don't want that damaged. If it's coming through your attic, any type of moisture, and then it goes to the next floor, and then you have two layers to look into. So access to your attic when you're doing that. When I say critters, what is hiding in this insulation? Are there spots that you need to look for? Are there holes that maybe a bird's nest in, things like that? Any of that can cause damage beyond just a pest, but then you have the filth of it. You could have the damage of it. Look at your wiring. Look at if you're having stuff storage up here. Do you have critters burrowing in there? You want to make sure termite, termites, ants, things like that, you want to make sure that those are all taken care of and looked at during a home inspection. If you're not planning on selling your home or you've lived in your home a long time, still double check on that. It is not crazy to hire an inspector to come to your home if you're not planning to sell. Wouldn't you want to live in your home knowing that it's in good shape instead of when you're getting ready to sell and say all these issues were here and we should have fixed them? So I have those resources. I have those inspectors. If you have questions, let me know. Winter is coming. We'll be doing a little bit more on getting your home ready and prepared for winter. Your window insulation is important. That's for another time. What else are you doing to your pipes and things outside to make sure your house is winterized and ready for the cold weather? It is chilly up here today in the attic. It's getting a little chilly. We might have snow on Sunday here in Pittsburgh. 
Um, so stay warm, but take a trip up to your attic today. Look and see if you can get some ideas for storage up here. Make sure that it's insulated and that your attic is ready for winter. Uh, shout out to some new friends if you're looking for homeowner's insurance, um, flood insurance, things like that. Let me know. I met with a young lady, Hannah. Hey, how are you? And she offers opportunities. She's actually like an insurance broker. So maybe you're looking just for a new quote, a new idea. Uh, the networking is nonstop in my business and you meet really good people with great products. So it's at least something to check out. There's no harm on you to stop in and say, hey, what are your rates? What are your products that you have? She might be able to save you some money. Go ahead and look into your homeowner's insurance and get those things taken care of before you actually need to use them and then you find out that your plan stinks, right? <laughs> I hope you guys have a great weekend. I have a busy weekend and we will see all of you next week. Check out my ghost post yesterday, my new product, my greens. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.